I don't know how you get the discount. Maybe you just asked for it, or you look like, you know, how you haggle like, you, oh, it's one thousand dollars. I don't think I want to go for one thousand five hundred. Or it's like, oh, I don't have one thousand five hundred and four. I will be rich. I don't know what to do, but. That's their name. I don't know what it means. Cherry's at home to. Cherry is at home to. Cherry. I don't know. But yeah, this is the room that I got. This is a double occupancy room with a queen bed. And of course, it's air conditioned. Where is it? Right there. It's a window type AC as normal as usual yeah the ac works just fine um it does kind of it is kind of warm still it's uh for a small room i don't think it covers a lot of space but it's fine you know um this room is what at 1500 and i got it for a discounted rate of 1350 just because I don't know because I asked for a discount. One. No, no, no. I didn't ask for a discount, actually. What happened was um, they said it's 1500 and I and I had this hesitant face, I guess, over um, getting a room for 1500 because I checked in at around 9 o'clock or 8 something. 9 o'clock in the evening because. Well, there was a problem at the apartment. I had a problem with my room. I just switched rooms and uh, the previous tenant had a lot of chemicals in the room and my nose hurt and I couldn't sleep. Like I was trying to sleep the whole day because that's what I do on Saturdays. But enough about me. So I went to Sherry's at home too and got this room for 1500 that I got down to 1350 because of the discount. I don't know how you get the discount. Maybe you just asked for it or you look like, you know, how you haggle like, oh, it's 1000 I don't think I want to go for 1500 Or it's like, oh, I don't have 1500 I'm poor. I will be rich. I don't know what to do. But there's a chance that you could get it for 1350 So um, try to ask for a discount if you come here. It is a nice, uh, it is a, it's a, an average looking room, but I think for Panglao, it is a good hotel. It is a three floor walk up hotel with great outdoor space. They have a pool with a bar and a seating area, and then you have a lobby. They do have free coffee. There's no breakfast um, included with the 1,500 or the 1,350 if you get the discount. Um, there's no breakfast, but they do have coffee and tea. 
All right, so for 1,500 or 1,350 if you get the discount, you get this room with a fridge, and then you have a safe right there. You have a window type AC. You have a small flat screen TV. You have a mirror, desk, and you have this small closet right here for hanging your clothes. And then you have this here where you can put your folded clothes or whatever you want. <laughs> um, unfortunately, the Wi-Fi is not working so well for me. I couldn't connect to the Wi-Fi. I am on a third floor room. I'm not sure if the other rooms have it better. Um, I do have a decent data signal from here, from Globe. So that works for browsing and stuff. But if I'm gonna be working from this room, I don't think it's gonna work because yeah, the phone can't connect to the Wi-Fi, so I'm assuming that if I had the laptop here, it won't be able to connect either. Initially, they were giving me a room that had two single beds close together um, to make a queen bed. I don't, I don't know who wants that kind of setting because I'm thinking if you're alone or if you're a couple, if you want to, um, sleep in one bed you wouldn't want two single beds that's pushed together um, and if there's two um, two people in the room who want two separate beds they wouldn't want two separate beds that were pushed together <laughs> it's like it, it's like you're in one bed but you're not so um, yeah if you get that room if you get if they try to give you that room and you don't want that set up, you can just request for a queen bed uh, and then they'll get a different room for you if it's available. And mine is on the third floor. The one with the two single beds is on the second floor. So I guess that's a it's a trade-off of whether you want a second floor room with a weird uh, bed setup or you want to be on the third floor with a uh, queen bed. So that's all I have for cherries at home to Inland Resort. And I am going back to my apartment. I'm going to check if it's livable now. Or maybe I'm going to um, check and if it's not, I'm going to check a different hotel and maybe give you a uh, a review of that after if I like it bye thank you for watching watching watching
There was actually a comment on one of the videos of the hotel reviews in uh, Zamboanga um, saying something like, why do you keep on speaking in English? Your English is not good anyway, your grammar is off, your pronunciation is bad, and um, I don't know what else. Uh, but basically, that's, that's the gist of the message. It was said in Tagalog, and I'm like, well, I deleted the comment because I'm like, ah, I don't want to deal with this person. But yeah, right now, I, so technically, you know, I'm talking to myself in the mirror. But you're, you're the audience for this now. So if you are that guy, hey man, you, you don't need to be here. Um, I usually post the video reviews um, on Google and Agoda. So um, if I speak in Tagalog, then there's not going to be a lot of audience for it right because i mean how many people would understand tagalog just us filipinos and there's a lot of us sure sure but i i would want to um you know reach more people and um i'm like oh my goodness if if you don't understand my english you know you can stay off the channel it's fine um i'm, I'm not forcing anyone